In today's video, I'll be showing you different seam sealing techniques on different fabric types. I would always recommend testing out your fabric and seam seal methods on scrap fabric and test seams before completing it on your finished work. I would also recommend asking your fabric supplier for advice and guidance on their recommendations for seam sealing as their best place to help you. You can complete this process using your normal domestic iron turned down to the lowest setting and you'll need a pressing cloth. I use an organza pressing cloth as I can see through it, but you can use whatever normal pressing cloth you own. We're going to cover two types of seam seal tape. First is a clear tape suitable for PU coated fabrics such as ripstop nylon, and the other one is for three layer fabrics such as Gore-Tex. They both have the glue on one side, which is what bonds with the fabric and should always be applied to the wrong side of the fabric. Our first seam is enclosed, which has two lines of stitching. This type of seam is seen in our downpour dry bags. What we're wanting to do is cover and enclose both of the stitch lines to prevent water ingress. Take your seam tape and check it covers both lines of stitches. Line it up and cut it to size. Feel for the glue on the back of the piece of seam seal tape and place the glued side onto the wrong side of the fabric. With your iron set to the lowest possible setting and without steam, place the seam seal tape and pressing cloth in place. Place the iron onto the seam for six seconds and remove the heat. Once you've removed the iron and pressing cloth, check the seam seal. I would leave it for a few seconds to cool down before you check the seam or continue with more seam sealing. If the edges haven't quite sealed, you can apply the heat for a few more seconds until it's sealed. If you're working around curved seams such as circles or a crotch line, it will be useful to work with small pieces of tape and overlap them slightly. The next seam is a normal seam that's seen in our Borrowdale trouser, for example. The seam has loose, raw edges, but that's okay in most waterproof fabrics. You can press the seam open or to one side. As you can see, when it's pressed open, there's not a lot of distance between the edges of the tape and the seam allowance. So you may need to trim the seam allowance to ensure the tape covers the area, like I'm doing here. Cut your tape to size and seal the seam as you previously did. The process for coated fabrics or layered fabrics is exactly the same. You'll trim the tape, apply the glued side to the wrong side of the fabric, cover with a pressing cloth and apply heat. You'll then remove the pressing cloth and check the bond, reapply if heat is required.
slight blooper. Here's what happens if you leave the iron on your fabric for far too long. I left this on for 10 seconds to see what would happen. The tape can melt too much and what you'll be left with is a badly sealed seam, some gaps and some tape on your pressing cloth. If this happens, remove the tape from the seam and start again. There's also seam seal glue, which is both a seam seal method and repair kit. Full instructions are included in the pack. Please use this product in a well ventilated area and consider using the gloves enclosed. I'll use the glue on an enclosed seam. You'll take the glue tube and run a line of glue along the seam. Use a glue brush or stick to spread the glue along the seam and create a thin film along the seam line. Extend the coverage up to six millimeters outside of the seam. You'll need to leave this to cure overnight. So this is 24 hours later after using the seam seal glue. The seam is flexible and doesn't appear to crack or distort when I move the seam. This method would be great for seams which needs flexibility. In the light, the glue does seem to have gone into each of the stitching holes and it's given an entire coverage to the area. On a side note, this method will be more time consuming and you may need several packs of glue to cover the area that you need. The tapes will be quicker to apply. Thanks.